I'm leaving right now to <laughs> uh, go film a podcast, our podcast. We're going to try and knock out three episodes today. This morning was a little uh, rough because <laughs> supposedly our plumber is coming this, well, he's here now, was coming this morning as well as the electrician, as well as the builder, and I don't know why, but I just thought Nick was off today. So... I was like, oh great, he can take care of the dogs. I'll be gone for four or five hours. Awesome. And then I made sure to bust my ass to make sure the house was like super clean for him this morning and um, put some chicken tortilla soup in the crock pot so that when he gets hungry later, it's ready. Um, and I got a text from him like, close to 10 and it was like oh busy morning I'm like have you left yet and he's like wait do you think I'm coming home today and I was like yeah so he's not coming home today he's coming home tomorrow the plumber just got there and I was like the front door is open I have to go sorry let me know if you need anything <laughs> um, and then now the electrician's coming tomorrow but kind of bummed I was excited to see Nick today I haven't seen him for the last couple days today's his third day on so, kind of bummed, I really wanted to see him, but uh, yeah, I packed up a bunch of snacks, headed over to Jenna's. I have to say, so maternity jeans, I've tried on multiple brands now of different like maternity jeans, and I mean, it's no fault of their own because they have to just be designed the way that they're designed for bellies, but they're the most uncomfortable things in the world. Like, remind me to never be pregnant during the winter again. Like, I would trade, like, maternity jeans for summer dresses any day. And you know the annoying thing is that my, my pregnant belly could fit in almost every single, like, summer dress that I have. Because none of them are, like, tight. And if they are, they're, like, stretchy tight. So I'm just over here, like, trying to, like get my ass into these like pants, like these like maternity pants, jeans, and then they just like sag down, like as I'm like wearing them throughout the day and I just have to like awkwardly do this weird shimmy dance to like try and get them to get like come up again. So I'm, I'm not a fan of maternity jeans. They're very uncomfortable. Like I guess I just wanna roll around in sweatpants. Today has been a little bit of uh, an odd day. <laughs> um, we had plumbers here on a plumber here yesterday on Monday. Today, Tuesday, I was supposed to upload a video on this channel and then one on the vlog channel. And excuse the view here. And I wasn't able to because I totally forgot and didn't realize also that the electrician, they were supposed to come yesterday and they came today instead. So I had no internet or like power um, most of the day. So I've been trying to deal with that and I guess I'm uploading tomorrow instead. Um, so I would show you guys, but you guys won't really notice. It just doesn't look really any different in there. There's just, it's just like behind wall stuff and like electrical stuff. So that's getting done um, and then by the end of the week, everything should be drywalled back up and we should be ready for builders to come in. So, my back's been hurting and I haven't been able to refill our water thing, so I have to be drinking <clears throat> these, which I'm not a huge fan of individually bottled water. I think it's a waste of plastic, but um, Nick's been working all day, which I'll show you what he's working on in a second. Also, Look at our cute new addition to our fridge. <laughs> Some of these actually look a little scary, but look at her little nose in that one. So cute. We're gonna take another one of these down to Nick because I'm pretty sure he's not drinking enough water. So what he's doing out here is he's redoing all the electrical down the driveway so that we can have up lighting in our beautiful olive trees and he and our gardener is freaking awesome. He's like th such a hard worker, uh, dug out this trench 
and now we have we just planted these um, plants right here like these they look much better than what we had so he that's what he's been drinking for water just one LaCroix so Nick did this entire thing right here this post was like rotting out before and then he dug this entire trench all the way down and he's putting another one of these down at the bottom so that I can have my Christmas lights next year because every year like I've been wanting to put Christmas lights down here and we haven't been able to because there's just no power how's it going Brought you some water because I know that you're not drinking any. <laughs> That's not going to be an issue when we widen this driveway? Uh, we're not going to be able to widen it much more than this anyway unless we completely redo everything because of the, the uh, uh, drainage. What a week. It's Thursday. Nick and I are heading to an OB appointment. The only OB reason. <laughs> yeah. We were picking up that uh, marijuana shipment, no? <laughs> the docks? At from the, the docks. guys? The from guy. the docks? You know the shady guys that work at the docks? Picking up the, no? I don't know, maybe oh. you and I have different plans. I totally thought we were running drugs. Okay. <laughs> going to the... Is that shit to work? We're going to the OB, an OB appointment real quick. I feel like these are kind of silly appointments because all they do is like do a Doppler and we've got a Doppler at home and we've got to drive like a half an hour to get there for us, for them to tell us the baby's heartbeat, which we can figure out on our own. I get not everyone has a Doppler, but I'll link you guys to one in the description box if you are pregnant and want to hear your baby's heartbeat. It's pretty cool. Cheers to my one Red Bull this week. Cheers. Uh, so I might go to Reptile Expo this weekend. I was supposed to go with this one. He's going to Jackson Hole, Wyoming to go snowboarding for a friend's 40th birthday. Can you? I was gonna go, but Chet is not doing well. Um, she's kind of getting puffy again, and they're coming to put the cabinets in on Monday, and I didn't have anywhere to board Leo. Just a lot of different things, and I'm really kind of behind on like my filming and work and everything, so I'm gonna stay home, and honestly, I don't snowboard, and I can't snowboard right now, and I can't sit at a bar, and I can't really do anything else that they're doing. They're doing like hot springs and stuff, so I'm just gonna stay home. But we are late to the appointment. We're supposed to be there in one minute, so we're gonna run and do that. Hopefully they'll be there. Look at this. Here. Look at it. Just look at it. Did you eat a burrito? Yeah, I had a burrito named <laughs> Yeah, I finally am wearing like a long little skirt with like a tied up like little band tee. What is this person do it, doing? Do it. If you're not gonna do it, don't You do it. suck at driving, sir. Update time. <laughs> um. Just left the OB appointment. I It's so funny, I like laid down, so I guess they measured with like a measuring tape on my stomach, and then also uh, listened to her heartbeat, and when I laid down, she was like a lump on the left side, and uh, then she just started kicking at the Doppler that was like on my stomach. I think she kicked like three good kicks at it, like <laughs> stop poking me. Um, so apparently everything's measuring well. Um, it's funny, I don't know what to believe, I guess. Uh, they well she was saying that the baby usually weighs like just a little over a pound right now but when i went to the 4d ultrasound place which i have no idea how accurate that is exactly but when they look at it they tell you how long your baby is and the weight and she said i was a pound uh, the baby was a pound 10 ounces it's 6 30 in the morning for some reason it feels like it's like 5 30. nick's taking a shower we're gonna drop my truck off at ford it needs to have like the back camera replaced it's been wigging out for a while so that's actually on recall and then i'm dropping him off at the airport so he made me espresso how sweet um i'm gonna go into the oh, it's so cold right here right now i freaking love sleeping when it's cold like i hate when it's like hot in a bedroom i cannot sleep so with the fan on and the door open i was like ah so nice um so i'm gonna go make him some breakfast right now on our camp so um do a little wrap for him so that he's not hungry on the flight and I think he's gonna have a lot of fun. I'm excited for him, but I have a little bit of FOMO, but I'm also like, I can't do any of those things right now, so. <laughs> Delicious, just made his wrap for him. And he needs these. And I gotta put this stuff away. Hey, from my dashboard. I am just about home. Just dropped Nick off, we dropped the truck off. 
Um, I'm starving. I made him that lovely wrap and now I'm out of wraps. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna do some avocado toast. Um, we have kind of a busy day today. We've got the tile being delivered, which I thought was delivered the other day, but apparently they just delivered the flooring. So they're delivering the tile today. And then um, the carpenter who's putting in all of our cabinets on Monday is coming by today to check it out. And then we've got the drywall guys coming today to um, finish everything up. Uh, so I don't know, kind of a bittersweet morning. Like I'm excited to like have a few days in the weekend by myself with like no one in the house, but more so people working on stuff. Like I'm gonna miss Nick for sure. But on the flip side, it will be nice to have a weekend to kind of like relax and also work and with like no um you know interruptions other than those that are my dogs our dogs <laughs> i hope he has fun i'm also nervous like i have never snowboarded in my life i tried once and my ex-boyfriend tried to teach me and it was terrible like my ass was black and blue and i always hear you need to get through that and continue doing it but for me, if like I don't learn something quickly, I'm kind of like over it, um, which isn't the best way to be, but I am who I am. So he's going snowboarding and snowmobiling, and apparently he was really good at snowboarding back in the day. So he's gonna have fun, but I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous too, because I want him to be safe. So the baby has been kicking all of this entire ride home. Uh, <laughs> so we got a good cuddle session in this morning too, and he, Nick had his arm uh, around like his forearm around like my lower stomach and um, I was like oh did you feel her kicking because I, I was like half asleep but I could tell she was kicking he's like yeah I did actually <laughs> so anyways I'm about to get home and we'll see what we get into today I also wanted to share this podcast that I listened to on Spotify I've, wa I've listened to not watched like every single one I really like it because they're like solved murders and they're just like narrated really well so check out Parcast Solved Murders if you're interested. They also make a bunch of other ones. I haven't listened to any other ones yet, but this one is awesome. This one is uh, Brides in the Bath Murders. Murders. It's pretty interesting. They're like, this one's from like the 1800s and the early 1900s, but they're kind of like span over all different like eras, time frames, whatever you want to call it. Oh, look at the mess. <laughs> Dude, if my Bronco ends up smelling like breakfast, I'm gonna be pissed. Um, making some eggs over here. Heating up my toast over here. I made some, well, I'm about to pop some of these in the microwave and then put this in there and then put some banana on top and then I'm gonna put some goat cheese on top of my eggs. I'm gonna do avocado toast, so yes. Piper, you want to say hi to your friends over here? Say hi to your friends. Is that a big dog? What is that? What is that? It is Saturday. Say good morning. Good morning. No, you don't need to growl at Piper for coming over. Good morning, Pipey. Good girl. Good morning. Yesterday we had um, a cabinet guy in here put starting to put stuff together, which was pretty exciting. I'll have to show it to you guys. That was awesome. Um, what did I do yesterday? I just kind of did work stuff. And then I went and got Mexican food last night for dinner. And because like the way I pull into the place, like near my house, like my lights shine right into the restaurant. So I like turned them off and I was like, okay, don't forget to turn these back on. But I was like so freaking tired and my back was killing me. I don't know, pregnancy brain. But I made it halfway home when I was like, wow, it's really dark on the road. And then I went to turn on my brights and I was like, my lights aren't even on. So I felt like a really big dum dum. But um, today is a Saturday. So there is no one in my house today. And I'm so living for that right now. <laughs> I love to have my alone time and it's hard for me to have people in and out of the house all the time. Like to have to like say hi to someone and smile at them every time I walk to my refrigerator is like obnoxious. <laughs> um, 
Oh my gosh, baby is kicking. Let's see if we can see it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I don't know if you could have just saw that, but she's kicking. Good morning, little one. What are you doing in there? I've been getting these like little um, dry like marks on here that are like itchy. So you guys were saying on Instagram yesterday to drink more water. I typically have been, when I say typically, I mean like a few weeks ago. I've been bad recently. I was drinking like five to six of these a day. And lately I've only been doing one or two. I think I did two and a half yesterday. So yeah, I definitely need to get back on that. But I had like a little moment yesterday. Today I'm going to do a little pregnancy haul where I show you guys what I've purchased. Um, that will be for a different video. But I was just like so frustrated last night because I'm finally like I finally like popped. Right. And I can wear clothes that are like tight and like cute. But being hey, that's just the cage. That's just the cage out. Hey, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. That's just a cage outside. So uh, yesterday I was just having, so I got an order from a maternity website and a lot of you were telling me in DMs like maternity clothes suck, <clears throat> but, and I think you're right. I think I just need to look for stretchy clothes, but like I've even done that as well. And I feel like I keep just spending all of this money on clothes online that finally get to me. And then the sizing is just so all over the place that it's just frustrating to get one thing from a site where like you're normally a medium and you're still a medium and they account for that because it's a maternity site. But then you buy the same size in a different dress from them. And it's like, I can't even fit it over my butthole. Like it's like so small and it just is making me feel giant. And I'm already like having to deal with the changes of my body, right? And it's like, everyone handles this totally differently, but for me, I wasn't really where I wanted to be before I got pregnant. So I'm trying to like be kind to myself, but I also still have my inner thoughts where it's like, why don't you fit in this? It's a pregnancy thing, you're usually this size. So anyways, I had like a moment last night where I was just like really frustrated that I've spent so much money and I just would love to just be able to walk into a store and try things on. And maybe I need to, to go to one of the malls and just try things on now that I've popped. But it's just been frustrating to spend all this time and money buying clothes that like arrive and then like most of them don't fit me or work or the quality sucks. And I still like don't have, I have one pair of maternity pants that I can wear. Other than that, I only have shorts or pajamas and I'm just feeling like frustrated. Like I just had a moment where I was just like, how do people look cute pregnant in the winter? Like I'm having such a hard time with this. Like if it was the summer, I'd be fine. Oh, look what Piper did. Did you do that? You're not supposed to rip stuff up. You're not supposed to do that. Let's feed you. Piper, sit. Sit your butt down. Sit. Good girl. Chow time. Good girl. All right, mom, this is for you. My mom called me earlier and was like, you never show your belly in your vlogs and this is the only time I get to see you and your belly. So here it is. <laughs> She's so high. Like, I didn't expect this part of my body to get thicker, too. But there she is. Um, yeah, this is my belly button is quickly becoming an Audi. <laughs> These are really low. They're about to fall off my body. But I just did this little makeup look. I'm going to put up a video on if I haven't already. No, I think it'll be after this goes up on this little look. I was testing out makeup looks I might want to wear <laughs> to the hospital if that's where I decide to give birth um, so that I can like look extra cute, but I'll probably definitely have like eyelash extensions on for sure. I'm going to go outside right now and film my 25 week picture. I've been wearing this same 
little get up um, each time with some white glasses and I was gonna do like a little collage like you see all over Pinterest. But um, I feel like I might've missed my 20 week because it's been so gloomy in San Diego. Like today is the one day, like today and yesterday it's been sunny, which has been so nice for my mood. I do so much better when it's sunny. When the weather is like gloomy and shitty, I feel gloomy and shitty. <laughs> So let's head outside and see if I can get the right angle. I pretty much have to like compare my old ones and like stand, try to stand in like mostly the same spot. I'm technically not 25 weeks until tomorrow. However, um, our gardener is here tomorrow because we have like three acres here and <laughs> I'm not standing in this in the backyard in front of another dude. <laughs> not happening. This is my signature unhealthy salad. <laughs> so much avocado in there. Mm. And I'm watching Selling Sunset. Look how we have our TV balance. That, that doesn't, that's not safe. I just started watching this. So I'm still on the first season, but what do you guys think about the show? Have you seen it? I wanted to show you guys something funny because I don't think anyone that edited this noticed this. But look at the space right here in a second. The dog is going to be dragging his ass on the carpet to wipe it. Wait I'm for kidding. it. Kidding. Um, we can talk about that. Doug is a great <laughs> Face is washed, body is showered. I'm gonna eat some of this right now because these are some of my favorites right here. <laughs> I haven't actually purchased chocolate. I've purchased chocolate once since I've been pregnant and I felt like it again. So, <laughs> um, I spilled espresso on my duvet cover again. So I'm washing that. I hate putting duvet covers on. <sighs> it's the worst, literally the worst. <laughs> I hate making beds, I hate washing sheets, I hate putting the sheets back on, I hate doing the duvet covers. Um, I hate all that stuff. It's like seriously the worst. So wish me luck, hopefully I don't break a nail off trying to do it. <laughs> and um, hopefully you guys enjoyed a bit of today's vlog and it was very chatty, but I feel like that's kind of like all of like my vlogs. I'm like, oh, next time it'll be like more interesting stuff to look at, but I just have a lot to say. What can I say? <laughs> um, so, hope you guys have a good rest of your day or evening, whatever time it is that you're watching this, and we will see you next week in next week's vlog.